Uh, I'm on holiday, as you can uh, probably no doubt see. <laughs> Got the old, uh, you know, kind of unshaven and grow my hair long. I thought it was a good thing to do, you know. And um, I found this uh, seat. Uh, somebody threw this out. Uh, as you can see, it's a sort of a sort of a 70s kind of style chair. Or, or, or 60s, not quite sure. Um, but um, it's a beautiful chair. I think it needs a bit of love. So I'm going to restore it as a sort of a hob holiday hobby. Uh, and then, as well as that, I've got, um, I went to the shops and got some fantastic food. So I cooked myself some nice food as well. Um, now I've got a few bikes to clean. And then uh, I'm kind of disappearing inside a canty in um, a few days. And I'm going to go and see James Taylor. Um, who is sort of an all-time hero of mine, uh, see him sing up the road. So, you know, really great, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm happy. Okay, but anyway, I wanted to show you this because, um, as they say, you should see the, finished, uh, the, the final effect when it's all, all done. I'll just kind of... Uh, see? Get the picture? Good. So, uh, lunch today is um, uh, yus uh, in Catalan or meluza uh, in Spanish. And it's actually uh, from here, from Carrefour, Carrefour. Uh, it cost me one euro forty-six. And, uh, excuse me a second. Oh, hang on. Where, where to put the like, camera, oh, isn't it? Yeah, cost me one euro forty-six, um, and uh, it's a nice, a nice bit of fish. Uh, they give you these sort of special freezer bag things. Um, how let me push my hands, um, and you can see. Um, I take it out here. You can see. Look at that, Menlufa or hake in English. So I get a couple of these uh, slices up here and um, let's move the camera and I'm going to um, basically take these uh, take these um, hake slices and I'm going to um, I'm going to put them in a sort of a, a batter. Well actually uh, it's much simpler than that uh, so batter is a sort of a, a posh name really, it's not really a batter, well not posh, but it's more uh, flour, so I'm just going to kind of put a sprinkling of flour here, like this, um, put the oil on, um, yeah, so yeah, put the oil on. Um, get that sort of uh, heat that up a little bit, and then just get the hake and um, you see, just sort of put the hake in the flour like this. Just very simple, um, and then the same with this one, like so. Just make sure it's got a nice coating of this in, and then um, taking a, a fork, I just kind of uh, get my egg. Um, just beat it up a little bit. Now this reminds me of that show that used to be on on, on telly. Um, what was it? Um, I know there's lots of cooking shows, but it's something like Get Stuffed or something. It's about the students kind of making food at night. Uh, it's actually a really good show, and I think they should repeat it, but there you go. So just put the egg like that. Um, yeah, and then we're just going to shove it in the pan. Like this. So you see the idea, don't you? It's quite simple, really. Uh, like this. Egg. Hake. Uh, I think maybe I could have beaten the egg a bit better than that. But uh, anyway, it's going in. It's a bit difficult, actually. To, um, I, I managed to kind of cook before. Uh, oh, no, but that was it. 
Now I was filming sort of from the computer and a sort of long shot. Now, this is a bit more difficult, but anyway. Um, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get some of this egg and just pour it on top of the fish. I know it's a bit silly, so I was going to... It's like a fish omelette now. <laughs> anyway. It's just experimenting, isn't it? And that's what, you know, I think this is what cooks do. Um, uh, uh, principally, basically, when I bought the, uh, when I bought the fish, um, oh. When I put, put the extractor fan on. Uh, when I bought the fish, it, this, this is what the lady said in the shop. So I, I feel a bit self-conscious today. I don't know, I never usually feel self-conscious. I think it's because I've been doing so much of this now uh, and, I've, and I've been uh, kind of thinking about getting around to cutting a load of stuff and it's taken me so long and I've seen so, oh, so much footage <laughs> burn myself oh god <laughs> look at that that's all over my nice uh, Fuji rock festival shirt anyway so yeah wittering on anyway look see it's coming on nicely it sort of looks a bit like French toast but it's a uh, Medlutha Hake. So that's very nice, and it's going to go with, um, I don't know yet, maybe some salad or so tomato and onion salad, something like that. Let's have it, I better turn it down because I don't want to burn it. It doesn't take long to cook fish at all, you know. Oh, I'll turn this off because it can't hear. Um, it doesn't take long to cook fish, really. I'm going to have a look at the fridge. Um, just shut the loo door. It's not big brother. I don't want to see my loo. Uh, let's have a look what we've got in here. Uh, this stuff, this is cracking. Uh, this is uh, sort of a lomar, sort of uh, pork. Oh, delicious. Camembert, uh, brie. Uh, we've got some nice... Uh, uh, meats, meats there. These sardines you get in a pack from Lidl, see? I could be on like a shopping channel, couldn't I? Fresh uh, fruit and veg. Um, sangria. It's only about 80p for a litre of sangria. You get pissed for nothing. Um, gazpacho. <laughs> anyway, that's enough. Well, I've got some lemon, the all important lemon for the medlutha, but I'm going to have a light salad with it. Anyway, I'm going to get on with it, um, eat it, because I'm starving hungry. Um, then I'll think about restoring the chair, then I shall think about cleaning the bikes, then I should think about cutting some more of this stuff to put on my uh, episodes of Costa Brava. So take care and see you next time, <laughs> he says, sounding like Graham Kerr. Right, bye, ciao sort of remembered that one of the, the, the thing about cooking programs is that you, you get to see somebody taste what they're doing. So, uh, let's have a look, shall we? Ooh. So hake and radishes. Hake a la romana and radishes. Good meal. Unhealthy. Bye.